Hi everybody, Diane here from California Tea and Herbal. It's one of those days we're just running around getting things done and it's also beautiful outside whereas it's been really hot. Vern ran out to get some tacos so I chopped up some fresh tomato and shredded a little lettuce and cheese. Okay everybody, let's make this Joanna Gaines peach tea punch. And a uh, lot's going on since I started to make this video. So it's way later, but there's still daylight and we're going to do it. So very, very simple. Now I'm going to do my variation of Joanna Gaines' recipe, but I'm also going to put her recipe in the show more. So you can click on that if you want the original recipe. Mine uses loose tea, which is always better. And ours is our peach cobbler, the California peach cobbler, which has the pieces of real peach in it and some other wonderful things that just are going to kick this up several notches. So what we're going to do, we're going to put in four tablespoons of the California peach cobbler into a pan. Now I have this hot water dispenser. If you don't, just boil four cups of water. So that's one cup for each tablespoon of tea. And let that water sit just until, you know, uh, maybe I'm going to say 20 seconds after it's boiled. And then put the four cups over this tea. This is two. And then after we get the water in, um, she wants this to sit much longer. But having worked with tea for years, I'm just a little bit um, a little bit more careful about the time on this and I'm not going to cover this. I would normally this would be covered but I'm going to leave it open because I want it to cool down while it's steep. So I'm going to let this steep for about five minutes. Now while that's steeping I'm going to also start my peach part of this and this is what makes it a punch. Now I have peeled five beautiful peaches and her recipe calls for four large peaches. So I'm going to put in most of the peaches that I have peeled and pitted and sliced. Now she suggests we save a few for garnish. So I'm going to put in about um, four peaches worth and then I, I am going to save that fifth one for the garnish. So mine is going to be super peachy. Now to this we're going to add the juice of one lime. And so we're going to squeeze that in. And I can tell I'm going to love this. Now I haven't made this. Sometimes I will try the recipes before, but I'm going to be as surprised as you today. And I'll be absolutely honest. Now, what she says is to um, sweeten this with a little bit of honey after you have tried it, if you want to add honey. Actually, if you're going to add honey, I would suggest that you do it while, say, reserve some, some hot tea uh, because you want that honey to melt in. That's, that's really a good way to do it. So now, to that, I'm going to add four cups, and I've already taken the lid off, four cups of ginger ale. In her recipe, we are going to make the, the puree by first blending the peaches and this lime juice. So let's, tr let's do that. Let me make sure I have this. I do not plug it in. Excuse me. I know I'm probably off camera now. I had something else plugged in here, so there we go. Now, let's puree this. Alright, so I'm going to puree that a little bit more 
my peach tea is steeping and I'm going to let this steep five minutes and then what I'm going to do and I'm not going to hold up the video while I do this I'm going to put it in the freezer and kind of do a quick cool down of that tea because we're going to end up adding that along with the ginger ale so I'll be right back when we get all that done okay now what I would like to suggest because this is my first run with this so I really usually I have already tried the recipe and it's usually my own recipe and so I'm familiar with it but what I would do differently is right after you puree your peaches in lime get them right into the freezer because I have my hot tea flash cooling in the freezer and I also put the ginger ale back in because when you assemble all the ingredients they should be as cold as possible and so that's my suggestion and it'll just be a few more minutes and then we'll assemble it okay everybody here we go Everything's cooled off, and we're going to put it all together. So here's the peach and lime that's been pureed in the blender. Let's add ginger ale, and that's four cups. And again, I'll have both recipes, Joanna Gaines and my variation, within the show more when you click that. Four cups of ginger ale, and this will be served, you know, eight people. And now we pour in the chilled brew tea. And there's a lot of it. I hope we don't go right over the top. This looks like it's going to be delicious. All right. And now she suggests honey if you want it sweetened at this point. But you know, that would, to me, I wouldn't add honey now. That's just me. I'm going to add stevia after I taste this if I feel it needs any sweetener. I'm going to add for this eight cups I'm going to add just two stevia I think that's going to be perfect I'm going to pour this Joanna Gaines peach tea punch into this chilled glass over ice and as she suggests I'm going to pop them in with that pop up a few pieces of peach and I'm going to garnish it with the mint as she suggests now let's let it sit on that ice I don't know if you can see that the pretty pretty foam there on the top it's it's very pretty drink oh that's really refreshing. I'm going to up that, because of the lime juice, I'm going to up that to three or four stevias in this uh, eight cup batch. So this is wonderful if you're going to have a few friends over, um, just for you and your husband, or your whole family. And I would say that Joanna, good job. You can definitely taste the lime in this. If you're not a fan of lime, back off a little on it. I'm a big fan of lime. And of course, uh, the fresh peaches only enhance this uh, California peach cobbler. You can find that tea, by the way, on calteas.com under black teas. And then the mint. While you're taking your sip, the thing I love about mint, it just gives you that refreshing aroma. Oh, that's great. And make it soon because this is the first cool day. It feels like falls in the air. Well, thanks for watching. Bye for now. And please comment if you have any questions or comments. And if you like this and you enjoy the recipe, please share. And then if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So we'll see you next time. Bye for now.